Today we're just going to go over a little review of exponents. This is all from Algebra 1 and stuff we've used since then. But just want to remind you of a couple of things. For instance, the first thing, uh, when you are taking like x squared times x to the third, you add your exponents and get x to the fifth. But if you're taking like x to the fourth to the second power, okay, so it's not like this first one where they're both written out. This is called power to a power, and you actually multiply that and get x to the eighth. Okay, so if it's outside of a parenthesis, you have to distribute to the exponents, you multiply it. All right, if you have 3x squared to the third, for instance, okay, you have to take that 3 and take it to both things in there. So this would be 3 to the third, x to the sixth. And then when you have a number, you have to actually calculate that. So remember, 3 to the third means 3 times 3 times 3 which is 27x to the 6th. Okay, another thing to remember is anything to the 0 power is 1. So if everything's to the 0 power, it's just 1. Okay, and negative exponents move. So if you have m to the negative 2, you would move the m to the bottom and make it m to the positive 2. Let's try a couple. So number 1, 2x to the 3rd times 4x to the 5th. So this is multiplying. So we want to first just take our numbers 2 times 4, which is 8. And then we put our x's together, so x to the 3rd, x to the 5th makes x to the 8th. So since uh, we are not distributing the exponent, it's not a power to a power, we just add our exponents. Okay, number 2, you have the quantity 2x to the 3rd y over 3xy to the 5th, but all of that is to the 0 power. So since it's all to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is just 1. Number three, we have 3x squared to the negative 3. So the first thing we want to do is we want to distribute that negative 3 as the exponent. So we would get 3 to the negative 3x to the, and then we're going to multiply that, so negative 6. Anything with a negative exponent has to move, so we're going to make this a fraction. So that 3 needs to go to the bottom, it becomes 3 to the positive 3. The x goes to the bottom, becomes x to the positive 6. Since there wasn't anything left on top, we're just going to put a 1 up there. Okay, and then remember when you have a number to an exponent, you have to actually calculate that. So 3 to the third, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So my answer would be 1 over 27x to the sixth. Okay, number 4, the quantity negative 2x to the fourth, all of that to the third power. So we're going to distribute that third power. This is a power to a power. So it's negative 2 to the third, x to the twelfth. Okay, and then you actually have to take negative 2 to the third, which is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which gives you negative 8x to the 12th. Because a negative times a negative is a positive, and then a positive times a negative makes it go back negative. Alright, and then the last two we want to try. 4x squared to the third power. Okay, distribute that third power. So it becomes 4 to the third, x to the multiply, so 6th. And then you actually have to take 4 to the third power. So 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64x to the 6th. Okay, on number 6, you have 2x to the third y squared, all of that to the negative 2. Since it's all to a negative exponent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this fraction upside down. So I get y squared over 2x to the third. Now it can be to the positive 2, so I just flipped it already. Okay, by flipping it, it gets rid of the negative. And now I need to distribute that 2, the exponent, to every single thing in the parentheses. So y squared to the second power becomes y to the fourth. Then on the bottom you have 2 squared, okay, 2 squared is 4, and then x to the 3 and 2 makes 6. Okay, so because it was negative, that's why I flipped the fraction. Alright, go ahead and try the rest of the ones on your worksheet. If you get stuck, you can come back to the video and rewatch it as many times as you need.